are you writing what's in this year then please take your time and solve these questions before you go to the exam solve them before you go to the exam hall please so we are going to solve all of them we are going to begin with the very first one but before we start solving try and subscribe to this channel thank you so much thank you for showing some love all right let's begin with this very first one there are 25 students in a class in 2024 the ratio of boys to girls is 3 is to 2 five more boys and six more girls joined the class in 2025 what is the ratio of boys to girls after the new students join the class so this is testing the knowledge on ratio so let's see how we can solve that first we can calculate the number of boys in the class by using the number that correspond to the ratio of boys which is 3 over the total ratio which is 3 plus 2 that is 5 times 25 total number of students in the class in 2024 so 5 goes into 25 5 times 3 times 5 is 15 so we have 15 boys in the class then number of girls will be equal to number of students in the class which is 25 minus number of boys and that will give us 10 so if five more boys join the class in 2025 this is 2024 then the new number of boys will be equal to 15 plus 5 which is 20 and the new number of girls will be equal to 6 plus 10 which is 16 so the ratio of boys to girls in 2025 will be so boys to girls will be equal to 20 is to 16 and we simplify that we will obtain 5 is to 4 the second question the score of six students in order of magnitude are 14 14 15 x y and 17 Given that the mean and median are both 15.5, find the values of x and y. So if the mean is 15.5, then recall that the mean is given by x by equal total sum of a number of items. So the mean is given in the question as 15.5. So 15.5 is equal to 14 plus 14 plus 14 a hey, sorry plus 15 plus x plus y plus 17 all over 6 when we add 14 to 14 to 15 to 17 we obtain 60 So we can multiply both sides by 6. So 6 times 15.5 will give us 93. So we have 93 is equal to 60 plus x plus y. So this tells us that x plus y will equal to 93 minus 60 which is 33 so we can call this our equation 1 
let us now obtain the second equation using the fact that the median is 15.5 so the median is the two middle numbers here we we'll find the mean of the two middle numbers 15 plus x over 2 is equal to 15.5 again so we have 15 plus x is equal to 15.5 times 2 and that will be 31 so x will be equal to 31 minus 15 and 31 minus 15 should give us 16 therefore the value of x is 16 and we know that x plus y is equal to 33 from the first equation from this equation x plus y equal 33 so this tells us that y will be equal to 33 minus 15 Uh, minus 16 not 15 because x is 16 so 33 minus 16 is 17 so we found y to be 17 and x to be 16 all right so the third question is here the diagram below shows a, a rectangle of dimensions 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters inside a circle find correct to two decimal places the area of the shaded region so the area of the shaded region we can find that by finding the area area of shaded region will be equal to area of circle pi r squared minus area of rectangle length times width so we need to determine the radius of the circle so how do we get the radius of the circle so we join the diagonal sq and you note that sq will become the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle sqr so pythagoras theorem tells us that sq squared will be equal to sr squared plus rq squared and that will give us 36 plus 64 which is equal to 100 so sq will be equal to square root of 100 which is 10 centimeters so the diameter will be 10 centimeters therefore the radius of the circle will be equal to 10 over 2 centimeters which is equal to 5 centimeters so area of the shaded region will be equal to 22 over 7 which is pi times radius which is 5 squared minus the length times the width which is 6 times 8 so 6 times 8 will give us 48 then we have 22 over 7 times 25 so this will give us 78.57 one minus 48 which is going to give us 30 30.57 30 to two decimal places so that is the area of the shaded region in centimeter squared We have our fourth question here let's see how we can go about it 
2 exponent x plus 2 exponent x is equal to 1 over 32. So we write all of them to base 2. So this is equal to 1 over 2 exponent 5. And recall that when we send the 2 exponent 5 into the numerator, it becomes 2 exponent negative 5. Then 2 exponent x plus 2 exponent x is like there's a 1 here. There's a 1 here. So we factor a 2 exponent x outside. We are going to obtain 1 plus 1 inside. That will give us 2. So we can now divide both sides by 2 by 2. So we are going to obtain 2 exponent x is equal to 2 exponent negative 5. We collect one base for them. This one is like 2 exponent 1 in the denominator. So minus 1. So that will give us 2 exponent x is equal to 2 exponent negative 6. Hence, since the base are the same, the exponents must be equal. Therefore, x is equal to negative 6. To our final question here, in the diagram, in the figure below, line segment AB is parallel to line segment CD. Triangle CDE is isosceles. Angle ABC is 26 degrees. Angle CDE is equal to T degrees and angle DEF is 30 degrees. Find the value of T. So to find the value of T, we can use the fact that T here We can use the fact that this angle here will be equal to, so this angle here, angle C, angle D, C, E, D, C, E, will be equal to, when we add angle D, C, E, and T degrees, we are supposed to get the exterior angle here, which is 30 degrees. So it means angle D, C E is equal to 3T degrees minus T degrees. And that will give us 3T degrees minus T degrees. That will give us 2T degrees. So the angle here is 2T degrees. So this will also be 2T degrees. So if we sum all the angles in a triangle, we're supposed to get 180 degrees. So from triangle DCE, we had this to be 2T. So 2T plus another 2T plus T all in degrees should be equal to 180 degrees so we get 5t to be equal to 180 degrees so t will be equal to 180 divided by 5 and that will be equal to 36 degrees so we found a value of t to be 36 degrees now we found we need to look for angle bce angle bce is this angle here plus this angle here, eight. So T is 36 degrees. So this will be two T, which is, um, yeah, two T. So two T plus this angle, this will be 26 degrees because the alternate angles are equal since line AB is parallel to line CD. So because of that, Angle B, 
CE will be equal to 26 plus 2T. So angle B, C, E will be equal to 26 degrees plus 2T degrees. And that will be equal to 26 degrees plus 2 times 36 degrees. And that will be equal to 26 degrees plus 72 degrees. And that will give us 98 degrees. Thank you so much. I'm wishing you all the best in your exams. Don't forget to go over these questions over and over again. It will help you in your exams.